Hi everyone, Sal here from Khan Academy. Uh, I am back in the walk-in closet where Khan Academy all began, uh, socially distanced. Obviously, uh, the entire globe is going through a very unusual crisis right now. And as part of that crisis, you know, people are worried about three things. They're worried about their health, both uh, physical and mental health. They are worried about the economy. And then they're worried about how do we ensure that kids can keep learning uh, with now nearly a billion kids that otherwise would be in school are now out of school uh, in order to protect people from this virus. And all of us here at Khan Academy as a not-for-profit with a mission of providing a free world-class education for anyone, anywhere, uh, recognize that it's our duty to step up uh, in this crisis. Uh, we never could have foreseen this type of situation, but we want to be there to support you, uh, support students, parents, teachers, uh, to get us through this situation. So we've always been working on resources, starting from pre-K with Khan Academy Kids that covers math, reading, writing, social emotional learning, all the way through the main Khan Academy website and app that goes from kindergarten through the core of college, including middle school and high school in math, English language arts, the sciences, we have history, economics, we also have official SAT practice for you. But as we saw the school closures begin to happen over the last few days, and now it's accelerating, uh, we realized that we need to do more. So on top of that, we are publishing resources for parents, for students, for teachers to be able to understand how to navigate the situation. Just recently, we published schedules so that students, parents, and teachers can structure students' days. And there's different schedules for students of different age groups. And we are doing daily live streams so that in this time of social distancing, we all can feel connected and make sure that we're there to support each other. And the team here at Khan Academy is very focused on making sure we can support y'all through this crisis. Uh, we're seeing the server load increase. And so the engineering team is reassuring me that we think we have it. Uh, but I also, and we're also exploring other ways that you, we can support you. Uh, and, and we're looking at ways that we can get more help for folks, things like that. Uh, I will remind folks that we are not for profit. Uh, even before this crisis, we were uh, operating at a bit of a deficit. And so if you're in the position, uh, especially as our, our demands on our server and our costs are going up as people use us more, if you are in a position, uh, I, I hope uh, you could uh, think about supporting us philanthropically. Uh, I want to really thank Bank of America. Uh, just over this past weekend, they stepped up. They realized that our costs were going up, that we had to have a better response effort. So they have helped us there, but we need more help. So for any of y'all out there who are in a position, whether individual or corporation, if you're finding use out of the resources we're providing, please think about making a donation to Khan Academy. It will allow us to support the nation and the world uh, as we go through this uh, this very, very unusual crisis together. Uh, last but not least, I just want to say as, as, as one human being talking to another, uh, you know, this is a new frontier for all of us, but I've been very heartened by the humanity that I'm seeing in everyone. Everyone is just trying to help everyone else as a human being. And I'm confident that if we just do the next right thing, one step after another, that we're all going to be able to uh, get each other uh, through this situation. Thank you.